praise the Lord, ladies and gentlemen. Um, making another video back to back, and I'm gonna I'm gonna break down Deuteronomy chapter 18 for you a little later today. Um, I might have my son do it, but um, <clears throat> I had two dreams last night, and the first dream I had is I saw a woman in hell, and in in um in the script, I mean, it was like this is how it looked. She was in this cell that looked like a well. And it looked like the, the walls were really wet and they looked like clay and it was dark. So the top would open to a bright light. And I, I have reason to believe that that was heaven. And it would open very wide. <clears throat> and as she would attempt to climb back out and she would, she would get like relief, you know what I mean? She was, she was like trying to get out then the hole would close right back up and she would scream in pain and torment and terror now if you remember the scriptures of Abraham um, I'm sorry Lazarus the parable about Lazarus that he was a, he was um, very poor very afflicted he was homeless and he had boils all over his body or sores that dogs would come up to him and lick his wounds and there was a rich man that lived a good life on earth, wealth, comfort, everything. Did not help this man. <coughs> Excuse me. What part of scripture is that in? Squirrel. About Lazarus. <clears throat> it's in uh, Luke. It's of in how, of how, of how um, the rich man looked, looked from yeah. hell and saw, saw what Yeah, I was going to finish that. Yeah. It was Luke chapter, it's in Luke. I believe it's all over scripture too. We just got to look. But anyway, um, Lazarus died and he was taken to heaven and the rich man died and he was taken to hell so the rich man would look up from hell and he would say to Abraham to give him a chance he would scream for mercy I'm paraphrasing you guys but Abraham would remind them that the rich man lived a good life on the earth and I'm paraphrasing and the rich and the poor man Lazarus did not and not only that rich the rich man made no attempt to help him right huh mm -hmm. and not just that, um, Lazarus, um, Abraham would, I mean, sorry, um, the rich man would say for Lazarus to dip his, uh, finger in water and cool the rich man's tongue because it was so hot with all the fires and flames and hell. And then, again, Abraham would remind them about how he lived a comfortable life, how this rich man lived a comfortable life on earth. And basically, he didn't help anyone. And, um, and how the, the, the poor man went to Abraham, went to heaven under the <clears throat> bosom of Father Abraham. You know, he's the father of nations. You know, there's only there's one ultimate father, and that's Jesus Christ. And um, so the rich man screamed out, well then, can you please send Lazarus back to earth to warn my family? And um, he wouldn't do that, right? Because they had to make the choice to come to God themselves. Yeah. So look up that parable because it reminded me of it. I mean, this, this man, rich man of, in hell, <clears throat> could literally look up and see heaven. And this woman that I had a vision about in hell would look up and see heaven. And it was within her grasp, and every time she would try to reach out for it, it would immediately shut. So if you ain't right with God, get right today. Please preach the gospel as it is written in the scriptures that we must. Jesus Christ is the Son of God, the Messiah, the Savior. He died for us on the cross so we wouldn't have to go to hell for our sins, so we could have salvation, that we are to live unto Him and not unto ourselves. You cannot sin. Once you're saved and you're baptized, you have to live unto Him. You cannot sin. A sin is a sin, no matter how big or small. You cannot willfully sin, because as it says in Hebrews 10, 26, and I've told you this again and again, um, there's no sacrificial blood of the Lamb for that for that sin. You cannot sin. You cannot live in sin. If you fall back and you <clears throat> sin by mistake, please repent. Don't do it again. Simple as that. Don't do it again. We are in the last days, ladies and gentlemen. I had another dream after that. I had a dream that um, I was shown Mount Zion <clears throat> in Israel. And there were scores of people, ladies and gentlemen, they looked like they were wearing... Um, robes from back in the days of Moses they had to have been hundreds thousands and they were walking up to the mountain of Mount Zion and that reminded me of two words 
the great revival. There's going to be a great revival sometime during the uh, tribulation. I believe the middle or sometime during it. But it's going to be a great revival where once the rap, once, um, I don't know if it's, the, if it's going to be the rapture that's going to trigger it or if it's going to be the fact that there's going to be a lot of, one second, there's going to be a lot of miracles performed and true miracles performed. Like there's going to be a very positive moving of the Holy Spirit. There's going to be miracles performed. Savings, um, people are going to get saved when they see these miracles performed. Healings, casting out of demons, you name it. Like Paul did and, and disciples. There's going to be a great revival. Right, hon? Mm -hmm. So, um, I'm going to leave scripture below about that. But... I made a prior video about the passing of um, Prime Minister Char Charon. Charon. My condolences to him and his family. I'm sorry that he passed on, and I pray that he has peace. But do not take this man's death in vain. Do not take this man's death and use it as a uh, as a uh, as a celebratory event that the rapture is going to happen because God is not going to like that. A human being passed on, a brother. We are to mourn him and pray for him and pray for his family. Please. I told my son that there's going to be people making videos and they're going to use this event to say the rapture is going to happen next week. Don't do that. There's already enough demonic spirits on here. Please don't partake in something as sadistic and sick as that. These are very miserable spirits that do that. Only a person that is pure evil will do that. And I see a lot of that on YouTube. Please, don't take this as a, as a celebratory event that the rapture is going to happen. A man died. Let's have some compassion, ladies and gentlemen. Not saying all of you will do that, but the majority of you will. We must watch for Jesus Christ, not look for signs. Be blessed.